Hi, I'm Jessica, and today I'm going to be talking to you about joining the community, mostly joining the tech community. This can be for Nottingham, for East Midlands, or further afield. We will go through the many different ways in which you can take part, in which you can make the most out of your local tech community, but also why you should and how much fun it is. Who am I and what am I to talk about community? I'm Jess. Hello. I am a developer and I lead a team currently. I mostly do back-end development, but dabble in other things too. Uh, in terms of talking about tech community, I have been involved in my local community for ooh, a good part of a decade now. I run a conference, Developer, Developer, Developer East Midlands. I run this with Rachel Watson and Morton Brockley. We had our first event last year and I'm hopefully doing another event on October the 3rd this year, given circumstances. I also founded the Women in Tech Nottingham Meetup. Started it five years ago as of April the 6th, which super proud. I handed it over a few years back, but it is still going on strong. The idea being to increase diversity within local meetups and the local scene, which it has smashed and conquered and has become a real little family. Very, very happy with that meetup. I've also been an attendee, a volunteer, and I speak at conferences worldwide and meetups too. So you can say I'm pretty invested in this local tech scene and have got a lot out of it in general. So what's available to you? We can't really talk about what's available without addressing the big elephant in the room. Coronavirus, yay. As you might be able to tell, I have been working from home for just over a week now. Uh, I have an autoimmune disease, so I'm having to stay away from people which as somebody who attends a lot of events might seem a bit difficult. Luckily, thanks to events, uh, people have adapted and have used technology in wonderful ways to make things keep happening. And as such, I have recently attended a conference, I have gone to meetups and I've just hung out with mates while still staying in this very comfortable chair. So I'm going to talk about some of the ways in which you can get involved while we're all hiding at home, but also how this might change going forwards once we're all set free again. First of all, meetups. There are a multitude of meetups in Nottingham and in the UK and in general. There are roughly 36 meetups on the go at the moment in Nottingham. Um, so back when we could all go to them and see each other, you could live off pizza and beer for a month without having to pay a penny. Luckily, they are still happening. Um, some have cancelled for a few months, but some are still taking place online. And I'll go through how you can take part in those in a second. There are many, many, many meetups, as I mentioned. If you go to nottingham.digital, you'll be able to see a list of all the ones available in Nottingham alone. So no matter what your interests are, there's something for you. If you're of more of a general interest and just want to find out about lots of things, highly recommend go to Technotium. It's got ooh, a lot of attendees and there will always be people who are there to be friendly and chat to you. They also, before the whole staying from at home thing, would meet people from the theatre and walk them across to the meetup before all of the events. Uh, same for Women in Tech. So you could meet people at the theatre at six o'clock go to the event ready for 6.30 and then just mingle and not be by yourself, which was quite nice. I'm sure we'll find some way of doing this online too. Talking of online, hey, as I mentioned, there are already meetups online and in order to take part, you may want to download a few of these tools. So I'll just walk through them. We have Zoom. Zoom is a screenshot in which you can see down here. I promise Glenn isn't sleeping and we are having much more fun than we look like we are in this photo. It was just badly timed. Uh, this is from a lunchtime meetup that Dylan Beatty runs. So he runs a lunchtime call. There's a good couple of hundred people come online just to chat about general stuff. Have a coffee, have their lunch, just be generally social. So Zoom is a popular tool of choice for a lot of meetups at the moment because it's free for up to 250 people, I think. 
Slack is a massive one, and I will talk about uh, Technotium Slack shortly, which you should join, please. I will talk through how to join that. It has over 2,000 people on there and channels from gardening to JavaScript to anything you can possibly think of. And it's just a friendly bunch. It's a good way to get to know people in or around Nottingham who work in this industry. There is also Microsoft Teams. Um, I took part in MVP Summit last week, which is where they took a in-person conference and made it an online conference using Microsoft Teams within two weeks. A phenomenal task. Microsoft Teams is also great. You can have all the video conferencing tools as you can with Zoom and Slack. Um, and it's just nice to see people's faces. And WebEx, again, is a conferencing tool. Mostly I've seen this within uh, more corporate kind of industry settings. I use this a lot of work. But there's going to be a huge upshot in these kind of tools as well. These are just the main ones I can think of at the moment. But I can foresee a lot of meetups using these going forward. So we can still be social and have fun. Podcasts is another way to take part in the tech community while we're all sat at home. Um, it might be later on, you might want to listen to a podcast while running or just while you're having a coffee in a coffee shop. It's what I do, to be fair. There are loads of podcasts out there globally. Uh, check out iTunes, Spotify and other vendors are available. Just to quickly go through some of the local ones, we have Resamblings by Rizwana Akmal. She is a student at Nottingham Trent University and also works at JH currently as a designer. Uh, she talks to people from the local scene, also just talks about what she's going through at the moment. It's a nice listen if you want to hear someone who sounds like a mate. Uh, there is a Sideman Designer by Tom Jetson. He does a lot of UX UI. He talks a lot about process as well. Um, he's quite well known in the local scene as he's designed quite a few of the local meetups logos, in fact. He's a really good guy. Um, and again, it's great to listen to if you're into design or otherwise. Side Hustle Success Podcast though difficult to say, is also a really good podcast. It is run by Stephen Haunts. I've appeared on it a couple of times, strangely. It's for anyone who runs conferences, meetups, or small businesses, side projects which are now like publicly available, maybe making a profit. Our conference doesn't. but um, And he talks about the kind of intricacies of running your own business, which might be interesting to some of you. And there's the Agile Engineering Podcast. This has guests on frequently. It's not been running for very long, but it's been great so far. They've talked about DevOps. They've talked about Agile process. Uh, there's four people in total currently on the main panel. And as I say, this rotates people as well. And they will be ongoing even with coronavirus. So please let's take take a listen to these podcasts they're pretty good um and let me know if you find any interesting ones as well i quite like my podcast so i'd be interested to hear what you're listening to social media um twitter is probably the biggest one for myself i find a lot of meetups on twitter keep up to date with them just people who i'm generally interested in technology it's a great way to keep up to date with what's going on and just generally chat. Keep it professional if you can, like have some personality on there, but I don't want to see what you're having for lunch each day, if I'm honest. Um, but social media is a great way to interact with people locally and worldwide. So as I mentioned, there's Twitter, there's also LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, other. Um, all of these do have some kind of technical base in them. So it's a way to find people who are also taking part in this industry. And as I mentioned, the Technotium Slack. If you go to technotium.com slash join, you'll reach this page, join the mailing list, and it'll sign you up to the Slack. Uh, there's loads of us on there. We're very friendly. Uh, I'd be happy to hear from you and chat from, to you on there. Yeah, it's just great. It has announcements from all the local meetups and events as well. So if you're not keen on keeping up to date on social media, this is a really easy way to keep up to date with what's going on and how you can take part. 
conferences. Uh, conferences are still happening online. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm going to You Got This Comp in June. That's going to be an online hosted event on June the 6th. Uh, originally, it was taking place in Birmingham, but with circumstances, they decided to move it to online. It's fully free as well. Like You don't have to pay a penny, and you get to see some great speakers. There are a number of conferences which are moving to online. Uh, as I mentioned, MVP Summit last week did, and NDC conferences are moving to online as well. So they're not stopping. Some are canceling, some are postponing. DDD, uh, so developer, 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 the one that I co-organize, we're hoping we're going to get away with running it in person because it's on October the 3rd. So with luck, we should all be out by then and taking part in these things. Conferences aren't just like a lecture talk. You aren't just sitting there listening to someone present. They have a lot of activities taking place. So for example, the conference that I help organize, we have Hacktober Corner where people can submit PRs and code together. We had a Mario Kart competition last year. We've got exhibitions from local companies, which by the way, is a great way to talk to them if you're looking to get hired. Um, we did have talks, we had workshops, there was a lot going on and it was really fun and really social and a lot of these conferences are, so please do find them, take part, look at what student scholarships there are as well. Some of them can be expensive, so that is a way around it. Another way around it is to volunteer, but I'll come back to that soon. So we've got meetups, conferences, podcasts, Slack and more. There are also hackathons still taking place online. Um, hackathons I've actually only done in person normally. Uh, I will be taking part in an online hackathon to see what it's like. But they're great. You can code with a team of people and try and win prizes. Um, there's nothing much more to say about it than that, other than there's a whole range of them. It sounds like Hack24 might be coming back next year. Hack24 was a great Nottingham hack. Uh, and I'd be really excited to see it come back again. Hack Knots, which is run by Hacksock, I believe. Uh, this is a student hackathon in Nottingham. I don't know if they're going to be online or in person this year. And Knots Gov Jam was a government hackathon that took part, part last year. So as I mentioned, I'm not sure what's going to be happening with these, whether they're going to be in, online or in person, but there's a whole host of them online. So go check them out, take part. I think there's a coronavirus one ran by the people who do Hack the Midlands. Um, so if you want to take part in that, that might be something to do. But we will not always be stuck in our houses. With luck, eventually we will be outside again. So let's talk about getting back to normality, what we can do outside of our own homes. Hack spaces. Uh, there is a hack space in Nottingham. And they're pretty cool. You pay anywhere between 50p and up to how much you want. Uh, and you can use their 3D printers, their lasers. Um, you can do graffiti. You can write stuff with Raspberry Pis. They run workshops. There's so much. You can pretty much make anything you want in a hack space. And it's super cheap. And you can use all their equipment. Um, if you're into making things or cosplaying or otherwise, definitely check out our local hack space. It's in Snenton, it's really good, it's huge, and it's super cheap. Uh, here's some of the stuff that the hack, Notting Hack do. So there's electronics, crafts, robotics, DIY, hardware hacking, photography, computing, reverse engineering, prototyping, filmmaking, animation, and more. They do run workshops on these things, so far, they have only been in person. I don't know if they're going to be running online events, but we shall see. So how can you get involved in all these things? Attend them. Uh, we need attendees. So <laughs> these events can't happen without attendees, and it's a great way to take part. You can get a lot out of these events, so please just go along, meet people. They're good. You can volunteer. Uh, volunteering is a great way to get into the more expensive conferences as well. First time I attended NDC conference in London, I volunteered, which involved working half the day and then other half of the day, I got to see whichever talks I wanted to see. 
it was really great because it gave me the opportunity to speak to people. I also had to learn how to speak to people. Um, it also meant that I was seeing talks that otherwise I wouldn't have attended and I learned quite a bit through the experience. The picture on this slide is the volunteers from obviously BBB Midlands. Um, we take volunteers, so if you're interested in that, please get in touch. But it's a great way to take part. And if there's anything out there that you think's missing, just organize it. That's what I did with Women in Tech Nottingham. So yeah, just run a meetup, run an event, run an online event, have a online lunch with students. Any of these things is no reason why you can't organize something if you don't want to go to something that's already available. But why should you do these things? Um, I've kind of raced through a lot of what is available online, like online and in person, partly because I would like to have a chat to all of you about this as well. But why should you do it? There's so many reasons. The main one probably as students for you at the moment will be meeting local companies. When it comes to interviews, it's not just them interviewing you, it's you interviewing the company itself. You want to find out that the company is right for you in terms of culture, in terms of the challenges that they're presenting. And you can kind of be sneaky with this. These events, conferences, hackathons, meetups, otherwise are all have some form of sponsorship. People from companies do attend. You can advertise that you're looking for work. They will be advertising that they're looking to hire because there is a hiring shortage at the moment. There's more jobs than there are people. But also, if you're thinking about joining a company, you can talk to people who have worked there or are currently working there to find out if it's right for you. Get a good feel for the place before you even interview there, which I think is kind of a really strong advantage. Um, so yeah, find out about companies by attending these things and find out if these companies are right for you. Learn from experience. Oh yes, that's the other thing. There are a lot of companies that offer apprenticeships and gap years and various other things. Some of these are paid, so it might be worth asking them if they have any opportunities when you meet them, either online or in person. Learning. We all love learning. That's why we're here. Uh, the great thing about technology in general, whether you're a developer or whether you're in another part of technology, is that you will constantly be learning. <laughs> is why I love it anyway. And you can learn from hackathons. You can learn how to get out of really bad code very quickly. You can learn how to make things. You can learn how to coordinate with a team. Uh, with conferences, with meetups, you will learn from the talks, but you'll learn from the people around you as well. You will meet lots of people by doing these things, and everybody has something that they can teach you. And you have stuff they can, you can teach them as well. So let's all learn from each other. It's a great thing. And to be honest, I do think it's one of the best things about this industry is that we can keep doing this. Have fun, yay. Um, <laughs> so this picture is from Deal or No Deal from Hack24 a few years ago. They used to run uh, like midnight game events, mostly based on a TV show. Mr. Blobby made an appearance. It was great. Whether it's an online event or in person, again, you can have so much fun with these things. Even just by chatting to people, you'll end up chatting about stuff that you never would have expected. Uh, turns out in the last week, I have been way more social than I have been before uh, being isolated to my house. So have fun, play games. Um, even on the Technotium Slack, you'll be able to find people to play games with online. So do that. It's we might as well enjoy what we're doing, right? And you will make lifelong friends. <laughs> I've made a load of quality friends through this, both locally and worldwide. Um, I've got a whole theory about conferences actually using this as a bit of a driver, because as soon as you meet somebody from Australia, you then have to go to another conference to see them again. But uh, hopefully we'll get around that with video conferencing now. You will make very good quality friends who have similar interests, who have similar wants and needs. And in general, yeah, I can't really say much more than that. 
um, you'll have a great time at all of these events online or otherwise and you will make some of the best friends of your life there have been some local meetup romances as well but uh, don't know about that and you'll be part of a community um <laughs> i know i kind of sound like i'm trying to get you to join a cult or something but i'm not i genuinely have warm feelings for the east midlands community they have been an amazing support through tough times. I have learned loads from them. I've got great experiences from them. And so will you. You will make memories, you'll make friends, and you'll just learn so much by taking part. So much more than if you don't. So please, <laughs> give it a go. So that's pretty much it in terms of what I wanted to talk about today. There is so much more out there that I don't want to bore you to tears with all this stuff. I also want you to go out there and find things yourself. And then get in touch with me and tell me about them so I can join in the fun too. So for now, I'm going to say thank you. Um, it's been a pleasure to be invited to talk to all of you today. And I really hope to see you as part of this community in these many formats. As I mentioned, we have meetups, conferences, hackathons, podcasts, hack spaces. There is also blogs, websites. There will be online communities. Uh, there are gaming communities. There's so much. Um, there's Homebrew, which is a meetup which is now going online where you can get help with working on coding projects or just code while sitting next to people who are also on camera coding. <laughs> it's fun to have a bit of a chat while you're doing these things. Um, but in general, there is so much out there. Please get in touch with me when you find something cool so I can take part two. <laughs> Let's face it, I'm going to be looking for things to do in the next few weeks. Um, and write blogs, code, join the Nottingham tech scene, stay here, get a job. <laughs> we're a good bunch and if you have any questions I will be available uh, by whichever means the university has set up today so bye for now and I will see you shortly online to answer any questions you have thank you very much for coming along and watching this video talk to you soon